our power of enthusiasm and zeal expresses in our body via several structures at the base of our brain. One of these is the hypothalamus, right here. And the rest of them are part of the brainstem, which includes the midbrain, the pons, and the medulla oblongata. These centers at the base of our brain regulate all of our body's automatic functions, and these include the temperature of our body, our heart and respiratory rates, our appetite, whether we are asleep or awake. And the base of our brain also regulates our energy level, our mood, and our libido. So what happens when we get all fired up and enthused and filled with zeal? Well, these thoughts and emotions activate the hypothalamus and the brainstem, which now send out nerve signals to the rest of the body. The hypothalamus also releases hormones that regulate the pituitary gland and all of the other endocrine glands, like the thyroid gland, which determines our energy level. I'm sure you've heard of endorphins, the body's own morphine-like chemicals that relieve pain and produce feelings of joy and well-being. Now guess where they are released? That's right, from the hypothalamus. And some nerve cells in the midbrain release neurotransmitters like serotonin, which determine if we are joyous and happy or if we are depressed. So we have these centers at the base of our brain that express our joy and enthusiasm, our fire of life, or our lack of it. How they do this all depends on what we program into our subconscious mind. Like a computer, we can only print out what we have programmed into it. Let me give you an example. Teresa was diagnosed as having chronic fatigue syndrome. In counseling, she shared that she had a series of relationships in which she had invested monumental amounts of energy, but which had not worked out. Her parents were challenging because nothing she did was ever enough for them, but Teresa felt that she could not pull back out of a sense of her obligation to be a good daughter. At work, she gave tirelessly to her job, staying late hours and always doing extra. Is it any wonder that she burned out and developed chronic fatigue syndrome? Now, when she restructured her life and relationships so that she received as well as gave, when she learned to use her zeal in a wise and balanced fashion, her energy gradually returned. Depression is another common sign or difficulty with our power of enthusiasm. A man named Jason had a tendency to feel blue, to always expect the worst in his life. He meditated, he said his affirmations, he ate healthy foods and exercised regularly. But his chronic low-grade depression continued. Finally, in counseling, he realized the root cause of his dark moods. As a child, his father had been depressed and his mother had had several serious illnesses. So in response, Jason had decided that his own lot in life, like his parents, was to suffer. This realization hit him like a bolt of lightning. He was supposed to suffer. He had programmed this belief so deeply into his subconscious that no affirmation could touch it. Rather, he first had to release this core conviction and then to reprogram it with expectations of peace and joy and enthusiasm. And when he did this, his mood gradually brightened and he became enthusiastic and optimistic about his life. What attitudes and emotions do you need to release and reprogram so that you too can be joyous, enthusiastic, and filled with abundant energy?